Hi guys, today I want to teach you how you can create a fascinating 3D stroke for your projects. Without further ado, let's dive in. The first thing that I need to do is create an ellipse at the center of the scene. I click on the fill and change its color to a radial gradient. After that, I set the handles of the gradient like this, and I choose the colors I want for the gradient. I need 4 colors for the gradient. Once that's done, I create the path of the stroke using the pen tool. After that, I select all the points, then I hit Ctrl T and I change it the way I like. I select the path and I copy it by hitting Ctrl C. I go back to the circle layer and I open its position. At the beginning of the timeline, I select the position and hit Ctrl V so the path that I copied would be used as the movement path of the circle. I want the animation to happen within 20 frames. So after selecting the keyframes, I hold Alt and drag the last keyframe and place it on frame 20. To create the 3D stroke, I need to apply the echo effect on the circle. I set the echo time to minus 0.001 and I set the number of echoes to 400 and the echo operator to maximum. And I go to the end of the animation to see how it looks. I increase the echo time slightly. And to see the stroke path in 3D, I set the echo operator to composite in front. And to have different colors at the beginning and at the end of the stroke, I go to the contents, ellipse, gradient, fill, and I create a keyframe for the color of the stroke, as well as the scale of the layer. I set the scale to 50 at the start so the stroke would look like this. And I change its color at the end. I place this keyframe at the start and I change its color to orange at the end. And if you want to fix this issue of the stroke, you can decrease the echo time and increase the number of echoes. And I set the scale at the end to 150. And if you want the angle of the highlight to change, you just need to change the rotation. And as you can see, the angle of the light changes. Let's check out the animation. And if you want the stroke to stay at the end and not disappear, you can put the stroke layer in a new comp and by hitting Ctrl Alt T, enable the time remap and create a keyframe for it at the end of the animation and delete the last keyframe. Now as you can see the stroke animation is formed and it doesn't disappear. If you found this tutorial useful don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. And if you're interested in learning motion graphics fundamentally and step by step, I can't stop recommending the Motion Hero Masterclass. Good luck and thanks for watching.